Vandy still looking for their first completion. Wright feels the pressure, takes off, and is tackled before the line to gain. Devontae Wyatt and Nolan Smith. You're making it too easy for an opponent that comes in here hot. Fake to Kenny McIntosh. Daniels wants to load up, and he's got another open receiver at midfield. That is Adane Mitchell. The freshman from Missouri City, Texas, and Georgia's back. Most dealer's choice. At first, I think JT Daniels was thinking, I might hit Kyrus Jackson. Instead, he comes to A.D. Mitchell. That's the fourth play of 20 yards or more for this Georgia offense. The SEC freshman of the week last week. A.D. grabs it again, fumbles the football, but it goes out of bounds. You don't see that often. Usually it's an uncovered lineman kind of floating downfield. Toss to McIntosh, huge hole, and he slides down inside the 30-yard line. Got 10 on the last carry from McIntosh, and now Cook goes inside the 25, inside the 24 for seven more. Instead, it's an end around to McConkey. He's got wide open turf in front of him. Another Georgia touchdown. Toss into the boundary a couple of times. And this time, instead, you're tossing it to your receiver who's flying in that orbit motion, takes the toss the opposite way. There was really no blocking needed. The defense was transferring to Vandy and playing fullback there. Second and eight, right pumps, takes off. Vanderbilt has a first down. And a flag, three of them come in at the end. Jalen Carter, he's kind of working a stunt. He was there towards the middle of the field. Must have taken a shot on a guy. Five wide receivers, and Wright wanted to keep it himself in Georgia has figured that out. Nolan Smith was there to help clog the middle. Ooh, that's a tough one, PB. U.S. up 9-3. to three. Harry English is going to be playing in the afternoon matches as Wright takes on more Georgia defenders to start the second, half, second quarter. Barini with the tackle after one quarter. Bennett looked terrific against UAB and keeps the football here in Stetson is up to the 39-yard line. Hey, speaking of Harris English, he's pumped. Through there, I, I can see a lot more making it in the next five or 10 years. Um, so I think I'm gonna be the first of a, of a big wave coming. Um, but it's really cool. Um, it Harry was talking there. He won his match with Tony Finau yesterday. United States up nine to three as they go into afternoon matches. A.D. Mitchell with the catch. Kirby Smart was all fired up to watch Harris English perform today and tomorrow. This is a lineup that many people anticipated Georgia being able to field with Salyer in the inside. Something to watch. Bennett's already in a groove on his first drive of the game. There's Jermaine Burton. And he's still unable to get any pressure, although Bennett is flushed out, throws on the run, and it's up in the air, and it is picked off. Ethan Barr, after hitting two people, comes up with the football. Picked initially, it ends up carrying off. It looks like Mahoney, and Ethan Barr is there trailing the play to get a turnover for the Commodore D. Jalen Carter rallies to it and comes up with the clothesline. Third and 11, right drifts back, throws it to Griffin, trying to make him get a little cushion, and he gets it out to the 16-yard line where Nakobe Dean makes the tackle. Three on the play clock. And it's a completion to Burton to midfield. It's first down. He was getting open because of his speed. What Todd Munkin wants to see is get open because of your routes. Bennett all day again. McConkey with a flag down inside the 25 to the 23. Powers to holding up in protection. And ben Bennett really layered that ball in there. It's a sixth. 20 plus yard play already in this game. Cook all day to run in front of him and he cruises on down to the 15 yard line. Bennett all day takes off. First down, 
sliding down at the 12, and here comes a flag on Barr, who led with his head, even though Bennett slid underneath him. Just look at all this time. Bennett, first down and goal to Bowers. We've forgotten about him for a few minutes. Tom Schofield, our terrific producer. I, I would have gone Bowers. Bennett into traffic. Burton turns around, runs the other direction, trying to get extra yards, and he might have gotten one extra yard out of it. It is a 17-yard completion. To be in a hurry-up offense, if necessary, later in the in the season. Bennett to the sideline to Burton, and Burton gets to the 21, maybe now to the 20-yard line. Bottom of your screen. And it was looking over that way. Now goes to the other side. And it's an easy completion to Justin Robinson, also from McDonough, Georgia. That's more like it. Respect for the Clemson defense, but also the injury that Daniels was dealing with as far as the play call was concerned. Handoff goes to White. And he is getting near eight yards on first down. Gets it again on second and two. It's a first down run for the man they call Zeus. And Bennett is settled in as the backup quarterback with Daniels clearly as the starter. Rolls out and then goes, takes it and tucks and run for a first down and slides just before the 30 yard line. They would otherwise be behind all those players that you just mentioned in the depth chart. Play action again, Bennett. Plenty of time to set his feet and throw a good ball, and it's the third touchdown of the day for Brock Bowers. We asked these coaches, you know, is there any surprise? Is this a guy that's kind of flashing more than you thought? They didn't even hesitate. Steady at the seat, steady at the helm, that's for sure. David Green. Second and five in McIntosh. A first down run and almost busted it loose. Now near the 31, Bennett fakes the toss and throws inside the 10 and down inside the five is Fitzpatrick. It's first and goal. McIntosh, how easy is that? You see on the back side, Warren Erickson, by the way, at left guard. There's not a more versatile player on this team. Uh-oh, watch out. Just a free run by Robert Beal to the quarterback. Olays. Robert Beal accounted for in the scheme, but confusion. Play meaningful snaps. They wanted that veteran presence in Stetson Bennett. They're still very pleased with where Carson Beck is. Beck dances a little bit, but a good ball to Jackson Meeks. Versus Clemson, and he's kind of been growing more and more in his snaps. 36-yard attempt by Podlesny, and it sneaks in there. <laughs> they might even be favored versus UConn. There's a chance that they can get back on the winning track. Pierce catches it, and he's right near a first down, but it could be short. Lassiter. Maybe a little retouching. Third and three. Edwards, look at this hole. Touchdown. Other games, too. Watch him. This is nice patience. It's right behind big Amarius Mims. That right side and misfiring on downfield shots. Missouri gave them more than they wanted. Now Missouri struggling on the road. Throw it, Mike, all the way. And is it picked off? I believe so. Kamari Lassiter. He switches to number 13 and gets his first career interception. Kirby Smart is now 23-2 in the East since 2017.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.